there and welcome back to the channel if you are here for the first time thank you so much for clicking on this video and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet so this week i'm not alone i'm joined by diva and diva is from uh, true crime she also does south african true crime and her channel is called zazi true, true crime diva. diva so guys please do check out her channel she's amazing and we're doing a collab for both our channels and the theme for this week is like heists and yeah. stuff like that Bank robbery, yeah, some mm -hmm. interesting stuff so i'm gonna link um leave a link to her channel and then she uploads on mondays so tomorrow i'm gonna put a link to the video that we did for her channel so please do check it out in march 2017 a bucky pulled up into the restricted access gate at oratambo international airport and this bucky was followed by a white ford focus and these two cars had official sapas uh, logos on them they had the sirens and they had the blue lights and inside the cars were several men and the so and the men had the full sapas attire so they looked official they looked like real sapas officials when they arrived at the checkpoint, they were asked to provide credentials just to prove who they are so that they can have access to the gate because it was a restricted area. So they proceeded to take out guns and they rounded up every all the security guards at the security checkpoints and they told them to lie on the floor. A plane had just arrived and was carrying a container with an undisclosed amount of money in rands, euros and dollars. The money belonged to Standard Bank and it was to be transported to London the following day. The men then proceeded to take 27 bags from the container. No shots were fired and nobody was hurt. The men then sped off from the airport. So initially it was reported that the man had stolen 200 million rands, which is... A lot but it was later revealed that the money was actually 20 million rands and like 700 20 million seven hundred thousand and you know it was it's a lot of money it was quite a big deal like a heist at or a tumble like millions of friends were stolen so the police put together a, a like a, in a task force and the task force included the hawks and members of the crime intelligence community and they worked really quickly and then within three days of the heist they had a tip-off and the tip-off told them that the vehicles that had been used in the heist had been spotted in Mamelodi. So when they got to Mamelodi they found the cars and it led to the arrest of four suspects and interestingly one of the suspects was actually a member of the SAPS so he was a police official. Told that the four that were arrested last night are the ones who led the investigators into this house where the vehicles that were used up. A couple of days after the initial arrest, a picture of a Lamborghini surfaced the internet and the picture went viral. The picture was of a man named Tando Sonuje in the Lamborghini. And Tando had first made headlines a couple of years prior to this when he had sued a luxury car dealer for 1.1 million rand for an undelivered car. Police then started looking into him and he was soon linked to the robbery. Police went to arrest him um, at his home in a luxury estate. He actually tried to escape by jumping from his window to the neighbor's roof, but police were very quick and they managed to arrest him quickly. They also found money linked to the robbery under his girlfriend's washing machine. Another man that was arrested in connection to the heist was a man called Prince Raphael Dube. And Prince was a very interesting character, but pretty much police found 14 identities linked to him. So he's a very shady character. But, you know, at the house that he was arrested, it was believed to be the workshop where the cars were turned from normal cars into SAPS vehicles. And at the house, they also found uh, police uniforms, police vests. So police had like a lot of evidence against Prince and it's actually believed that he was the mastermind behind the whole operation. The other two men that were arrested were Sbusiso Minisi and Franz Manaka. Sbusiso Minisi worked as a maintenance worker for a company called Godforce. And Godforce was the company that was in charge with transporting money from the SAA plane to the security storage at Oartambo. So he was like pretty much the inside man. Yeah. yeah. So another man that was arrested in the heist was a man called Pila Kune Tanzi. And Pila Kune is also an interesting character because police didn't have evidence to link him to the crime, but he did implicate himself. 
he told police that he was a taxi driver and he had actually given a lift to one of the robbers and the robbers had told Pilakuni on of the heist that was about to happen so he contributed uh, 1000 rands to the heist but didn't tell police he told police that the man didn't actually say which heist it was. It was then discovered that Tando had bought the Lamborghini three years before this entire incident and they couldn't find evidence to link him to the robbery. Charges were later dropped against five of the suspects and because police did not have enough evidence to link these suspects to the robbery, charges were not dropped against Prince Dube, Franz Manaka and Spusiso Misi. So out of the initial eight people that were arrested, only three people ended up being sentenced and they were Prince Dube. Prince Dube was uh, sentenced to 45 years in prison for robbery, theft and impersonating a police officer. Uh, Spusiso Nisi, Spusiso Nisi was sentenced to 15 years for conspiracy to commit robbery and Franz Manaka, Franz Manaka was sentenced to 30 years for robbery. And interestingly, the 20 million was never found, so it's still out there. Still out there. It's still out there. Still out there. <laughs> but I mean, with all the suspects that were not arrested, it's, it's like... Yeah, they're probably sharing the money. But also the fact that there were so many inside men, yeah. like... It, it, it says a lot about why this 20 million is mm. not being able to be found but I have this question though about um, them saying that they couldn't find evidence to link Tando mm. Singh yeah, Tando. which is weird because they found the money and then his girlfriend's so washing machine. machine so but later on police are claiming there's not enough evidence to, to link him to, to the, the robbery make it make sense make it make sense i don't it understand make sense. i don't understand and then also i feel like there were so many involved people involved in the robbery because mm -hmm. they were like seven people actually committed the robbery yeah. but behind the scenes Toluguti, they were like 20 people who financed it yeah so a lot of people did gain because 20 million the 20 was million lot, was divided because it didn't people. just disappear and they're just balling whatever they and they're just balling and obviously the people who were initially arrested can't just spend the money because mm. police are obviously keeping an eye on them to see if they're spending mm. beyond their means I actually remember seeing memes about this robbery on yeah. Twitter after it happened. I think the one of the, I think it's the guy who worked for God Force actually. Yeah, it's yes. Yeah. I think he like after the heist, he just came to work, you know, all dazzled up. Mm -hmm. Like he suddenly just <laughs> everything's good with him. So that's when they were like, no, 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 no. we had a heist just now, no. and, and now you're like, exactly. that's like I feel like Utando. Utando got caught. He shouldn't have posted that picture of the Lamborghini. But I think in a way, you know, they have this spiteful tendency yeah. of like, look, yeah, was that the one? Was that the Hi, but guys, if you did enjoy this video, please do subscribe to the channel and do please tell us your comments on what you thought of the video. And don't forget to check out Diva's channel and do check out our video that's coming out tomorrow. So yeah, it's also another bank robbery very, story. So it's also very very interesting. <laughs> um, thank you guys thank so, so much. much. We appreciate the li uh, mm -hmm. the listening ear. We appreciate you guys watching, commenting, liking. Thank you, thank, thank you so, so much. much. Bye.